But again, today's talk was really to answer the question someone had asked, what is the science of systems? And I put it in this context of, in summary, sharing the story of the six blind men looking at the elephant, going through it in very detail, and why, if we don't take a systems approach, we will be ripped apart as a society. And that does not serve everyday people. So if you look at the issues that are going on right now, the Ukraine war, the issues with elections, the elections themselves, who do you vote for, et cetera, the issue with free speech, and you go down all the major issues that are going Going on, if we don't have a systems approach, we will not see the whole, the whole system as it is. We'll see pieces of it. CNN will present one piece, Fox News will present another piece, and somebody else will present another piece, and some influencer on YouTube, Joe Rogan, will present another piece. And all these fragmented perspectives uh, and never seeing the whole, it, do, it does not serve you or I. And so we live in a world, as I mentioned, it is a world of complex systems. Every system around us is a complex system. This phone is a complex system. It's not just in the old days, one little, you know, telephone wired to, uh, you know, a, another system. This phone is connected to the internet. It, it has apps which communicate among uh, each other. The, the cars that are emerging, the driverless cars or cars are interconnected to systems. Everything around us is a complex system, healthcare systems, transportation systems, etc. And if we want to really keep those people we elect to office accountable, we have to have the tools to understand systems. The problem is the science of systems today is only accessible to very, very few people in the hallowed halls of elite academia. And what we've done here is to make that concepts, the course, the ability for you to learn it accessible. And that is how we change the world. The world is not going to change if the level of consciousness of people is here and we're expecting leaders at this level. Let me repeat that again. The world is not going to change if the state of consciousness of people is here and we're expecting to get leaders at this level. The world is going to change when we raise the consciousness of enough people. In the modern world, that consciousness raising, removing the veil of ignorance is only going to occur if we understand the science of systems because we live in a world of very complex systems. The good news is we've put that curriculum together. We've created a community for you and we've created activities that you can do to experientially be part of that. So I hope this was valuable, that it answers the question, um, you know, what is a system? What are the science of systems? And you get inspired to take advantage of incredible platform we put together that you become your own guru, quote unquote guru, you're able to teach others and serve. Thank you, everyone. And also, I just want to remind you that we have a whole community. You know, today, John's doing an open house orientation. Heather and Crystal, other people in our team, which run meetings, we do activities. So you don't have to feel isolated. Part of the world that it's becoming is, particularly in the developed nations, people are very, very isolated. When I went to India, you know, you don't have a lot of depression or people with, frankly, depression issues over there because you have tons of people around you. Maybe it's a poorer country, but you also always have family and friends and tons of people. When I I flew back to America, the first thing I noticed, you're driving down and there's actually no one on the streets. Everyone lives in their little holes behind their computers and we don't have community anymore. So one of the things we're doing is we're building consciousness, but we're also building community. So please recognize it's really, really important to have community and others. And that's the way you grow. It's mentally healing. So take advantage of this. So please go to vashiva.com slash join, become a part of this movement, which will really help elevate your consciousness and teach you the science of systems. So you won't be a blind sheep.